Hey there, and welcome back to Killer Frequency. Thought I would uh, chuck on the base cam since we uh, had a jump scare a couple episodes ago. So, without further ado, hit the button. We have a caller. What she said. <laughs> caller, you're through to Forrest Nash on 189.16, The Scream. Hey, wonderful show tonight, Forrest. Uh, thank you. Well, that's kind of you to say. Thank you. What's your name, Collar? Uh, you can call me Don. Could you play my tune, Forrest? Your tune? Sure. Long Ride Home. That old song? Sure. We got it. Do we? I think I played it the other day. Thanks. It'll be good to hear it again. Long Ride right, folks. Home. Coming up is that old classic. Uh, Forrest, I don't think you're gonna find that song. What do you mean? I played it a few nights ago. I know, but uh, we don't have it anymore. Why? What are you talking about? I threw it away. You threw uh. it in the trash? No, I, uh, I threw it out the window earlier today. <laughs> what? Um, why? Uh, and why did you throw it out the window earlier today? Brad was annoying me all afternoon. Uh, he played Brad. it on repeat because he knows I don't like it. So I grabbed it and threw it right out of one of the office windows. Not my finest hour, but I can only take so much. Um. Well, what do we do? All right. So, uh, what do we do instead then? Let's just play a different song. We've got more important things to think about Oof. anyway. Gotcha. Sorry, Dawn. Okay, folks. Here comes some unrequested music. Sorry about that, Don. Maybe try again tomorrow night. Uh, let's. Sorry. I feel like I've listened to all of these already. We'll go for. Let's go for the flow. Hey, let's Here do comes it. one of my favorites. Oh, is that it? It's not really an introduction. Cool. Of so. all the songs to request. Why'd it have to be that one? Gee, Peggy, what did the barn finds ever do to you? Wrote that song for one. It gets real old when you're forced to listen to it on repeat for years. Oh, yeah, that's true. Why couldn't they just request Roddy? Oh, Forrest, scrap the song. We have another caller. Uh, line one. Sorry to cut the music short, folks. Callers take priority tonight. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. This is Forrest Nat. Oh, Murphy. Oh, thank God. It's me again. Okay. Murphy. What's wrong? Talk to me, Murphy. What's wrong? Oh, the killer got me, man. Oh. I... Uh, why did I ever trust a guy named Master Robin? I warned you not to. Hindsight is twenty twenty. okay? Forrest, we need to do something. Goddamn piece of... He came to the gallows waste disposal plant. Beat on me, man. Carry me inside and lock me Oh, it must be the map here, then. Okay. I got a flashlight, but... Oh. Oh, goddamn. I smell smoke. Shit. I think he started a fire. Hold on, Murphy. We'll call for help right now. You gotta hurry, man. I need Who the hell are we gonna call? Now or we're like literally the only two functional people here. Peggy, get the fire department on the line. <sighs> on it. All right. Now just come on, pick up. Hi. Yes, I'd like to report a fire over at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. It's an emergency. Oh, well, that works. What do you mean it's not operational? Why is there no backup vehicle? <laughs> Of course. Uh, we need a... He... Oh, God damn it! Forrest, that evil son of a bitch slashed the tires on the town's only fire engine. They can't do anything. Why do we only have one? But I have a few friends who live nearby. Maybe one of them can save Murphy. Where do they live? My oh, friend Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield and Romero Street. And Catherine lives on the west end of Myers Lane. And there's Jericho on the east end of Myers Lane. But he's... old really old 
Okay, I'll check the map, see who would be best to do this. Okay. Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield Road, right next to Romero Street. Haddonfield Road, so he lives here. Right? Yes. Oh, hang on. Traffic notice. East side, Creedy Street. Be closed. Residents won't be unable to access connecting roads between Haddonfield. Rogers Avenue. Where's Rogers Avenue? Here. Oh, so this whole street's blocked off. Right? Am I reading that right? Residents will be unable to access the connecting road. So the entirety of McCready Street is blocked off up to Rogers Avenue. Right. Catherine lives at the west end of Myers Lane. Troy's west. This way. West end of Myers Lane. So she lives somewhere here. She's pretty close. Old man Jericho lives at the east end of Myers Lane. He's the closest. Well, how old's old? So if he's like in his 40s or 50s, that's not that old. If we're talking like 80, different story. I think it's Jericho. I think it's got to be Jericho. All right, Forrest, who should I call? Who can help Murphy? Uh, call Jericho. Call Jericho. All right, give me a second. Please. Please, 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 please. They're on the way. They'll call from the plant. You can direct them from there. Well, let's hope they get direct there in time. them. What do you mean, direct them? Okay. Please. Forrest, I'm getting a call. Oh, please, 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 please. Are you sure you can't? What's happening, Peggy? Uh, old man Jericho wasn't fast enough. I don't know why I even mentioned him, but I did. How? The plant burned down. It collapsed. He was right here. So Murphy is. It's not even that far a walk. Poor Fernando is gonna no. be. No. I'm not letting him die. No. Screw that. <laughs> I'm happy to save scum. All right, Forrest. Who should I call? All right, let's who try Catherine. Murphy? Catherine. Catherine. Call Catherine. All right. Give me a second. Alex's entire street is blocked off. It's got to be Catherine then. You didn't see anything. There was a squirrel. They're on the way. They'll call from the plant. You can direct them from there. Let's hope they get there in time. Is that cheating? Maybe. I don't want anyone to die, especially him. He's got a kid. Call coming in. It's Catherine. She and Murphy are now both on the line. Hello, Catherine. Are you there? What, uh, what, what's happening at the plant? The whole damn thing is up in smoke. I... God damn it. I'm going in. Go, go. Oh, my reception is terrible in here. God, my eyes stink. Uh, do you see anything, Murphy? Murphy? Can you see anything at all? Yeah, I got a little flashlight. Oh crap. Old cans, bottles, and newspapers. What does it say on the newspaper? Recycling area. It's uh, the Henderson headline. What was that? My reception is terrible in here. Please, force, tell me where to go. 
bottles, cans. It'd be recycling. 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 Got it. Come on, Catherine. Murphy, do you Shit. know what part of the plant you're in? I'm in a dumpster, man. What do you want from me? Some help. Do you hear anything? Do you hear anything, Murphy? I hear my heart about to pound out of my chest. Put the receiver up to the lid. Cut it up. What the hell was that? What was that? Just tell me what you can see, Murphy. I've already told you. Just a bunch of bottles. What was that? Pants, newspapers. That didn't sound like anything. I want to say it was a crusher. Catherine, go to the crusher. He said he was in Henderson. Open the Henderson container. He's gonna be in the shredder, isn't he? The lock is I found him! Yes! Let's go! Let's hold ass! Holy crap. Oh, can we put our arms up in the air, Peggy? Can we celebrate? Yay. We made it! Oh, man. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. You saved my life. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank God. And, and I swear to you, now. I'm going to race Fernando to be like you. Aw, oh, shucks. And I'm getting my money back from Master Robin. Hey, you just get home to your son, oh. okay? Will do, Forrest. Well, folks, Gallows Creek has two folk heroes tonight, Murphy and Catherine. I'm sure their deeds won't soon be forgotten. I think Murphy's a hero. Great job, Forrest. No time to celebrate, though. We got a caller. How long have you been going for? You know what to do. All right, folks, another of our good citizens is on the line. Let's see what they have to say. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream, with me, your host, Forrest Nash. Forrest, Teddy Gallows Jr. here. I just want to say that my thoughts and prayers are with my Gallows Creek neighbors during this awful time. Oh, it's mayoral candidate and scion of the town founders, Mr. Gallows. Are you in danger? We need to be a town of law and <sighs> order. We need cops who have the tools and funding they need to keep us safe. Being interrupted okay, by my dog. Teddy. We. I know you're an outsider to our little town here, Forrest. But you're really stepping up the bat for us all tonight. I just want to say thank you for taking a swing. Gallows Creek. Jackass. Oh. Um. Just stop. Teddy, this isn't the time for your political ads. Stop. I just want to make sure our town is safe and prosperous. That's why the Gallows Family Factory founded Can we cut by him my off? father, Theodore C. Gallows, God rest his soul, which employs over 200 Teddy, unless you've got an emergency, I'm cutting you off. You know what? I do have a problem. A problem that's ruining our town. You know what it is? You had an emergency. I didn't ask about a problem. I said emergency. The problem is that woman, <sighs> our current mayor, Linda Cartwright. Oh, here we go. 
She just isn't one of us. Linda Cartwright is un-American, unstable, and... You're not better than anyone, Teddy. Just, just put him off. Just because you inherited half the town. It Hang up on him. Your producer sounds a little unstable, too. Don't you dare speak to me that way. Cut him off, Peggy. I can guarantee this kind of thing will not happen when I take office. The moral decay of... And that's enough of Teddy Gallows Jr. for one lifetime. Yeah. I always feel disgusting after hearing him talk. Just play an ad for us. I need a minute. We'll be right back after these messages. Uh, probably don't need Master Robbie. Definitely don't need that. Um, it's this one. Harvest Festival. The world famous annual Gallows Creek Harvest Festival is back! We got it all out on Giblet Field. We got the Little Miss Harvest Pageant, Princess Harvest Pageant, Harvest Queen Pageant, Cotton Candy, Corn Dogs, Cornhole, Corn on the Cob, Crokinole, Country Music, Can Jam, Jams, Jellies, Jamborees, Juggling, Roller Rickies, Roller Disco Lessons. Holy hell. Praying. We got baby crawling, balloon popping, balloons for sale, beard contest, horseshoes, hayride, hay toss, hey you there, safe donkeys and ponies, apple bobbing, firearms, fireworks, funnel cakes, fried dough, seeds, written <laughs> sand licking, cracker cramming, and cat shop. And fake tattoo, face painting, puppets, petting zoo, amazing maze maze, square dancing, story swapping, spelling bee, quilting bee, and sewing circle, pie eating, lawnmower racing, hot dog eating contest, flower contest, and of course our famous gourd measure off. The festival is brought to you by Mayor Linda Cartwright, sponsored by Gallows and Sons Factory and dedicated to the memory of Garrett Miley, tragically taken from us last festival. What? The hell? I can see why it's world famous. It's a highlight around here, Forrest. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, Peggy. All right, folks. Isn't that supposed to be a good thing? Show. We have a note from my producer. That's right. Do we? Come find me at the Harvest Festival tomorrow uh. to grab your choice of a KFAM mug, sticker set, or poster. Let's see what our next caller would choose. Caller on line one. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, the Scream Nash. Uh, hello, caller. Hello. Who is this? I need the police. I'm Forrest Nash. I, <clears throat> I'm standing in for 911 tonight. What, what's wrong? There's a guy hunting me and my friends. I, I think he's killed some of them already. What the hell? She's just outside. I can see him from up here. God damn it. She's just a kid. Um, where are you? Where are you? Are, are you somewhere safe? Oh my God. Oh my God. You stay with me, kid. Focus. I, I can't do this. Yes, you can. I feel like I need to make hard Tell save. Me. I don't trust myself. <sighs> Sweetie, you can do it. What's your name? Good, good. Carrie, okay. listen to me. We're going to get you out of there. All right? Now, where are you? The old murder house. Upstairs. I'm at the end of a hall. There's, there's a bathroom, a couple bedrooms, a closet. Oh, he's coming. Where should I go? Um, I don't know. Look, the closet's a bit too on the nose. Go to the bedroom. Go to the bedroom. Okay, I'll... You know, you always check the closet when you're getting hunted. He's here. He's here. He's gonna kill me. Shut, Shut up, Carrie. Can... Uh, yeah, run. Run! I don't think it's a whistling, man. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh no! Forest! <laughs> what should have seen your face? <laughs> what? 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 Are you? Are you kidding me? Okay, wow. 
going on here? Wow. <laughs> oh, who's on the phone, Carrie? The cops? It's just a joke, jeez. Wow. Wait, isn't that... Jimmy, that wasn't funny, you sicko! Of course I called the cops, but, but some guy just answered instead. What guy? Forrest Nash. What the hell are you all doing? It's prank night, old man. We're just having fun. That's the kid. The kid who called in earlier pretending to be the whistling man. Oh, that is it? I'm out of here. Um, go home, Jimmy. Jimmy, everyone, it's really not safe to be out. Please, go home. And waste whistling night? <laughs> no way. That little idiot. Whistling night? It's a stupid tradition. Especially stupid since that one kid died back in... <sighs> Would you take off that stupid mask if it's hard to breathe? Who's under there anyway? Hmm? Is that you, Seth? Idiot! Seth is right next to you. That's, uh... Uh... Wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. Who, uh... Who are you? Oh, no, man! Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, run. Everyone, run! Run fast. You two, run the door. Scott Heather, you better get That back. sounded gruesome. He's out there, and we're in here. We're safe, right? You buy time, but not much. Forrest, we have to... Heather, I already called the cops. Forrest picked up. He's the best we're gonna get. Who is with you, Carrie? My friend. We drove out to the old oh, murder house, crap. and... Oh, of course! The van! Who's got the keys? Jimmy had them. Of oh, course it's Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. Oh. Crap. Control yourself. Um, focus. Focus, stay focused, Carrie. Focus. Yes. Sorry, sorry. I'm here. We'll figure something out. Between all of you, there's gotta be a way to beat this. Just... How? I don't even know who you are. Heather, shut up. If we do that, we're gonna get killed. <sighs> if only Jeannie were here. Jeannie? Jeannie McPherson? Our intern Jeannie? Yes. She's my best friend and the smartest one out of all of us. She stayed in tonight. Force, listen. Uh, Wait, I think I've seen Jeannie's desk. With, and, uh... What? Is that the desk God, I looked? I'm scared of? Everything okay? No. I think we it is. <sighs> We're figuring out a plan. All right, let's but get off the phone. I know what to do. I think. Bad at. I think we can figure out what to do, but I don't think we can agree on who should do what. I think you'll have to be the tiebreaker, or else these of idiots are gonna get us killed. But I. Shut up, you. Oh, Forrest, I'll call you back. But I don't know anything about your friends. But Jimmy uh, does. These damn kids never learn. Pretty sure I've seen her thing. Her desk. Breathe, Peggy. Breathe, Peggy. Peggy. It's okay. Ugh, they do this kind of thing every year, Forrest. People get hurt. All right, <clears throat> folks. We're going to work out a way to save Carrie and her friends. This next one goes out to all the trapped kids out there. <laughs> oh, maybe Final Breath is a bit much. You'll like this next song. Peggy, you mentioned something yeah. about their friend working here? An intern? Yeah, Jeannie. Seems a nice enough girl, but a bit head in the clouds, you know? Not sure why we took on an intern. We really didn't have the office space for one. Poor thing got tucked away in a dark corner somewhere downstairs, I heard. All right, I'll go see I know, because I've seen desk. it. Hopefully she has something we can use. I've seen her desk. Peggy said her desk is downstairs. It's the one over here, isn't it? Jeez. Yeah. They really tucked Jeannie away. Good job on the new job. No. Friendship quiz. That's Jeannie. Carries friendship quiz. Yeah, there we go. 
Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Are we safe in here? The, the whistling man's not gonna kill us, is he? Okay. Peggy. Hey, you find anything that'll Hi. help us out? Yeah, I found a friendship quiz with all these kids on it. If you think that'll help, then good enough. Carrie's on line one, whenever you're ready. Oh, so Time music. to turn the music off. This yeah, is Forrest yeah, yeah. Nash, back again with an unlucky caller on this unlucky night. Carrie, are you there? Yes, we've got a plan, but we can't agree on who should do what. You want me to be the tiebreaker? Exactly. I'm ready. What's the first step? Okay, first things first, we'll need a spotter. Someone who can keep an eye on the killer. We'll need someone on the roof. It's gonna be a hard climb. We're deciding between Heather, Kyle, and Hot David. Um, most likely to climb to the peak of Mount Everest, Heather. Heather's got this. Yes, Heather, he picked you. Now please, stop talking about all your cheerleading trophies. Part two, the whistling man padlocked the gate back to the road. Before we drive out of here, we need someone to pick the lock. Seth, Jennifer, and Scott all want to do it. Um... Most likely to end up in prison? Seth. Seth. Seth, what are you talking about? I don't know that smashing into windows is really... Oh God, fine. Anyway, that brings us to part three. Getting the van keys. Oh, it would have been escape prison. Oh no! Do over. Back again with an unlucky caller on this unlucky night. Gary, are you there? Escape prison. Yes. We've got a plan, but we can't agree on who should do what. Do you want me to be the tiebreaker? I'm here. Exactly. I'm ready. What's the first step? Okay. First things first. We'll need a spotter. Heather. Someone who can keep an eye on the killer. We'll need someone on the roof. It's going to be a hard climb. We're deciding between Heather, Kyle, and Hot David. Now let's go for Heather. Heather's got this. Yes, Heather. He picked you. Now please, stop talking about all your cheerleading trophies. Part two. The whistling man padlocked the gate back to the road. Before we drive out of here, we need someone to pick Most likely to escape. Seth, Jennifer, and Scott all want to do it. Jennifer. Jennifer. <sighs> Jesus, Jennifer, you carry a bump key? Why didn't you say so earlier? Anyway, that brings us to part three. Getting the van keys. I'll volunteer for this. Okay. I don't know Jimmy as well as you guys, so... It'll probably be easier that way. Then it's part four. Damn, Jimmy would have passed driving test. This plan is impressive. This is a very detailed plan. I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah, it's weirdly easier to think when you're about to die. You're doing great. What's the next part? Part four. We need someone to lead the whistling man away. We need a fast runner. For this one, we're trying to decide between... Fast runner. Who was it again? Olympic athlete. Not David. Cynthia. And Scott. Alright, let's read it all before we make a decision. Olympic athlete? Hot David or Heather? Uh, obviously this is Hot David. Hot David. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you uh, do spend a lot of time running shirtless. You got this, Hot David. Sweet. Okay, okay. Let's recap. We get the eyes on the roof. A runner distracts the killer while we grab the van keys and pick the lock on the gate. Yep. Now the tricky part. The getaway. Ooh. What's the plan there? Well, we can't all outrun the whistling. Part five, we tricked the killer into a trap. Someone committed to be injured. Who would make the most believable bait? Who you got? We got Lisa, Tammy, and Cynthia. 
most likely to win an Oscar. Yep. Lisa or Tammy. I don't like the name Tammy, Damn. so. <laughs> Tammy, if you survive this, never do that British accent again. That should take care of the killer. And then it's time to get out of here. Finally, part six. We need someone who can drive us through the woods and back to Gallows Creek alive. Who's our getaway driver? Should it be? God, Jimmy would be nice that? to have. Chad, Scott, Cynthia, oh, whatever. Forrest, you know what to do. Who should drive, Scott, Cynthia, or Chad? Scott will most likely end up in a car crash. But Scott is also the best at go-karting. Oh, oh. Scott's most likely to end up in a car crash though, that's the thing that gets me. I'm kind of thinking it should be Cynthia. I think it's Cynthia. Go-karting doesn't translate into driving. Most likely to end up in a car crash is Scott as well. I'm gonna go with Cynthia. Cynthia. I know we no all love watching American Skid. Yes, I... Yeah. Just do what they did in the movie. Uh... Oh. Thanks, Forrest. Oh, Forrest boy. A few seconds for ourselves, and then it's go time. Sounds good. Talk to you in a sec. Good luck, Carrie. I think I killed them. That actually sounded like a pretty good plan. Impressive as hell, right? Damn straight. I think I got them killed. Maybe Scott was the right call for the driver. So, what do we do? Oh, the kids are back already. Oh. Line one again. If you're just tuning in... We're coming to you live with a bunch of teens about to flee a madman. Listener discretion is advised. Are you ready, Carrie? We're good to go, Forrest. Good luck. Good luck. And Godspeed. You got this. I'm gonna get storm go, riders ready for him. Slaughter! To the roof! Go, Heather! She's off and away! All right, Renner. Get ready. Hot oh, David. Wait for the spotter's signal. Spotter says go! So far, so good. <gasps> oh, Jimmy. Oh. oh, his his face is the keys, Carrie. You need to get the van keys. His face is lying next to him, Forrest. He got caught. Yeah, all right. I don't need the imagery. Hurry up. Focus. Focus. Breathe. Okay. Should be back any second. Perfect. It's working. I can't believe it's actually working. But you're not you're out doing of the woods great. yet. Focus. You got this. We got this. Next step: trap the killer. All right. Wait. Get into position. Everybody else. Hide. Come on. Come on, Tammy. On it. That doesn't sound convincing. He is. He's buying it. Really? <laughs> oh no. He knows. He damn it. Now, push the bookshelf over. Oh my god, they both went through the floor. What? But Wait, is that a victory? She's coming down. And yes! Heather! Quick, everyone to the van. Driver, take the keys. Is that a victory? They went through the floor. I mean, Tammy's dead, shot. right?
All right, we did it. Carrie! What was that? It's a whistling man. Drive! Now! I'm back, I'm back. Get the hell out of there, Carrie. Wait, if he's back, what the hell happened to Tammy? Still there, okay. He just stared at me. Carrie! Carrie? Just stared at me and walked into the woods. <sighs> I don't understand. Why do you care? You're alive. Thank God you're okay. Can you get somewhere safe? <sighs> I can make it home. Ooh. Thank you both for helping. If you hadn't, I. It was your plan, Carrie, and it was a great plan. Uh, don't forget Janie. Don't forget Janie. Her friendship quiz saved the day. Told you she was the best. I need to get home. I... Breathe, Carrie. You're okay now. I'll call you when I'm somewhere safe. Talk to you then. Pretty good. Folks, that was, uh... That was a lot. Our thoughts go oh. out to the parents whose kids won't make it home tonight. That For any impressive. kids listening in, please stay inside and stay safe. And parents, hug your kids extra tight tonight. Here's a song for the girl walking home in the dark. That's a bit on the nose. The moonlight. Hey, we had a call come in. But that is a problem for another day. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you very soon for another video. Take care for now, and bye-bye.